centre physical foot traffic within Fed Square where we go and hang out and do some events, go to events there, attend restaurants and then bang, COVID hits, Susanna, and then you've had to go online. But I know that you've been preparing for Virtual Square for a time, but just talk us through what happened to make that transition to Pivot Online. Yeah, absolutely. So for, for a long time, we've identified through surveys and just observing everyone that comes to Fed Square. The Fed Square is a place of meeting. It's a place where people come to um, celebrate whether it is, you know, the most amazing um, events or watch football yes. or, um, or even the tennis. <laughs> Exactly. But it's also a place, you know, for vigils and people come and they really enjoy connecting. So when um, COVID-19 hit, uh, you know, it was a shock. We had a whole calendar of two years worth of programming um, uh, available for us to curate. And we had to think quite quickly. We always wanted to have a virtual presence. We yes. had done a bit of work but we never had the consumer so open to explore that different way so we've um, started working really really quickly to look at the most significant experiences we offered what would people come to fed square so they come to do you know tai chi meditation yes they come to enjoy a really good meal so we started producing a lot of content like overnight we we started doing master class about um you know, how to make the best or, you know, make this pasta, so interact with the retails, come in, you know, um, and, and, um, and and do your Tai Chi from your home, but, but out of the square, so you have the same um, experience. And working with a lot of our partners, like Visit Victoria, NGV, Acme, there's so much beautiful content between us all. So it's just about um, connecting and really trying to transfer that unique selling proposition that you have physically um, tried to recreate that experience virtually. So that that's what we just completely shifted our focus to do.